All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Shadow of the Colossus. It's been, gosh, like nearly 20 years since this game came out, and I'm finally getting around to playing it for the very first time. I might have to adjust audio settings tremendously. We'll see. Wow. Yeah, turning the sound effects down more or less muted them. There we go. That's maybe too much. It's happening. Yeah, it's finally happening. Hey, Rito. I've been putting this one off for months? Years? I don't actually remember when I bought this. I think I bought it at launch. I just... I don't know. I think I'm scared. I, I think that's it. I'm always scared of, like, going back to these old true classics that everybody loves and loved. Because I'm always afraid I'm not going to have the same experience. I'm at, like, a solid 50-50 on, like, going back to old games that people adore, and either I absolutely love it too, or it's, like, super garbage, and I'm just like, why do people love this game? It doesn't help that The Last Guardian was kind of wonky. I played it with no nostalgia baked in and loved it. Because, yeah, you didn't play it on the PS2. Yeah, I honestly didn't hear about it until we were, like, well into the PS3 era. Because uh, I used to listen to, while chatting with people on AIM, there was... A AIM had, like, a radio thing built in at the bottom, and one of the stations was for video game music. And the Shadow of the Colossus theme song would come on frequently. And I remember it very vividly as, like, one of the better songs to go by. Yeah, apart from that, I know nothing about it, never seen it. I know people love the horse, so, yeah, is this a... Wait, did she move? That was weird. When he pulled it off, she, like, moved into position. I thought she was supposed to be dead. Place began from the resonance of intersecting points. They are memories replaced by ends and not etched, uh, and not and etched into stone. Blood, young sprouts in the sky, and the one with the ability to control beings created from light. In that world, it is said that if one should wish it, one can bring back the souls of the dead. But to trespass upon that land is strictly forbidden. Yeah. <laughs> 
I know you do a lot of climbing in this game. I would love it if the character just got, like, so much more top-heavy looking by the end of it. Like, he starts as this, like, relatively muscular looking dude, but by the end of it, he's, like, jacked climber man. It's in weird Colossus-ish, but yeah, it's fine. You owe you. Dormi, you fall. Aru, you la. Oshitu, Hairo, Wukiu, Aikua. Ujizu, Yazu, Tsudoko. Waju, Noru, de Kyo, Uti, you la. I am his.
Am I just free to go now? Yeah. That was seamless. All right. So guys, I need your help here. Seeing as we we just got rolling. So obviously this game is Shadow of the Colossus, but describe Shadow of the Colossus to me without actually calling it Shadow of the Colossus. As in, uh, I originally had local man stabs giants in the knees. Pretty obvious. Okay. Well, there's no sun here, so that's kind of meaningless. I should probably also get on the horse. Though the horse might just be going the right place. Get go. Oh. Agro. Agro. Okay. No. There we go. Nope. Guess it doesn't work. Agro. 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 Dude, it's just... Okay, how did I... What was the button again? There we go. Okay, so where are we going? We're going there. Alright. Uh, let's see. What was I going to say? But, uh... Revenge of the Ants. Tiny man hates uh, tall things with burning passion. Uh... Rip. Control the reins with lefts. Oh, does this horse have, like, weird tank controls? It does. Oh, that's weird. Oh. Display a map in current location. Oh, boy. All right. Yeah, one thing I will say is, unfortunately, despite the fact that this is a pretty gorgeous looking remake it still suffers from that like ps2 era gray brown that so many games with like realistic lighting in the time suffered from it's not a big deal but it's kind of one of those where it's like it's just it, it's a shape whoop we're hitting that with some heavy speed there But it is a shame with a lot of these, like, older remakes that they still kind of suffer from some of that lighting. Wait, you can change that? Really? Is it the HDR? Hmm. It has less atmosphere, but the lighting is better. I... huh. Wait, it's under... Filters? Oh, you're right. Filter. Vivid. Warm. Cool. Woodland. Complementary. Mono. Bright. Emerald. Radiant. Frigid. I'm gonna try Vibrant. It definitely makes the darks a bit darker. But maybe that's okay. Can I just climb these ledges? No, I have to go over here. I... Hey? Oh. I see. I'm actually supposed to go up those ledges. I was just supposed to press X. Got it. The pause screen is a little blinding. Uh, can I... There we go. Okay, that is how I climb. I understand now. It's very proto-Breath of the Wild. It's a bit more... It's almost quappish. Like how they animated it and how it moves. It's like... It's very smooth. And you can tell it's just, like, bafflingly high quality for a game that was effectively, you know, I mean, this is a PS2 title. Yeah, this looks way better for me now. I know some people might prefer the more, like, atmosphere of the non-vibrant version, but this is, this is what I'm looking for. It still suffers a little bit from the kind of brown and the grays, but...
It only gets quapier for the bosses in the best way. Yeah. I... Any of you guys play Pray for the Gods? Because... I remember... Oh, well... That's the Shadow of the Colossus-ish game that I've played before. Well... Oh, wait. Uh-oh. Maybe whistling was not the right idea. Oh yeah, it gets quappy. The longer you accumulate power in the attack, the greater the damage will be. It looks like there's an upper limit, though. I'm not doing any more damage to him. So it looks like I've got to go elsewhere now. Okay. Can I climb up? Okay, let's get stamina back. Wow! They did a great job with the hair physics on this dude. The song, too, but yeah, look at this hair! Oh, it's so grassy! Get my stamina back. Hi, right, there we go. But yeah, I played Pray for the Gods and didn't like it that much. It was very awkward. And it very much felt like they wanted to make a whoop. <laughs> it felt like they really wanted to make a nope. They wanted to make Shadow of the Colossus, but they didn't really have like. Uh, let's see. They didn't really have the budget, the time, or quite this the same level of like skill. There we go. Wow. This is some Dane Bramage right here. Oh, we are going to fall, maybe. Let's uh let's just hang out right here, just chill. We are very lucky that this guy is not capable of scratching his head. Which is probably why he's got this, like, horrible rash up here to start with. I am don't think that was a valid swing spot. Nope. Ah. Yeah, come on, get him with the stabby. No. That is a very thin window. Okay, let's just... Come back here. <laughs> Where are you going? Can't you tell I'm stabbing you with the cranium? Also, like, cripes the grip strength on this guy. I how many of you guys played uh, Metal Gear Solid 2? With its like actual grip strength that you had to level up. Because I'll be honest, I barely played Metal Gear Solid 2, uh, but I do remember actively going out of my way to level my grip strength up, like, ridiculously high for the brief period of time that I had access to it. And wasn't there another game like this uh, that I played that was kind of winter-themed? Yes, Pray for the Gods. It was... Uh, that's what I was talking about, kind of critically there, where it just didn't feel quite right. This feels just perfect right off the bat. I can- I can absolutely see why- why this, uh, you know, reigns king, I guess. Oh, that's creepy. Nice pants. If you die, can I keep them? It's a weird, creepy shadow.
and it's gone. I'm actually really surprised that there hasn't been more games that try and follow in this one's footsteps. Iconoclasm! Hooray! Checkpoint situ situation. Got it. I wasn't sure how damage was handled. But fair. Agro. 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 Man yells at horse. <laughs> Oh, right. I didn't actually bother to figure out where I'm going next. Wait, what? Huh. All right. <laughs> it's just right next to it. Come on, horse. Come. We must go. Okay. This might be it. Uh, I should probably slow down a little bit as I head for this potential ledge. Nope. Not a potential ledge. Oh, gosh. Well, if there's going to be a seaside cave... Oh, gosh! If there's going to be a seaside cave, it's going to be here. It's... It's ahead of us, and then down. I was not actually... Ex Cripes, what a bridge. I am a little afraid of the horse drifting and then sending us both hurtling to our death. But at the same time, eh, if it happens, it happens. It'll be funny. That looks promising. So is this the HD remake? Yeah. Yeah, it's on the PS4 and I guess PS5, actually. This game came out on the PS2. Yeah, they did a great job with it, though. I, I would love to see them give it, like, another quick pass. Uh, wait, wasn't this made by Bluepoint or whatever it was? Or wasn't... It was Blue something. Are these... Are the people that made this remake the same ones that did the, uh, the Demon Souls remake? Because I would love to see them go back and just give it another pass for haptic feedback. And, okay, yes, thought so. Uh, another, uh, pass for, like, haptic feedback and just slightly better blue sky. That's it. Blue point is... Wait, no? It is blue point? Okay. What else have they worked on?
Dang. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. It's got glowies under its hooves? Yeah, I don't see a way for it to get up. So I feel like I'm going to have to bait this to try and attack me somehow. Damn it. Okay. I think I'm on the right, right path. I just got to get it to go up and then actually hit it with an arrow. Might have to be on foot for this one. All right, there we go. Time for mistakes. That actually did do damage to me. Was you or yours? I wonder. Your islands spread along. No full Kyle blue, no corn. I see. Let me climb its leg. There we go. Yep. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, quap boy. Come, climb, 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 climb. There we go. Good spot to get it back. Okay, so where the hell am I going? need to switch weapons. Okay. I... That's not helpful. No! Grab a hold! <laughs> I was holding R2 and the dude was just like, nope. Don't know. Alright, I guess we just gotta go around to the butt. We'll figure it out. Do I get my stamina back? Or... Do I burn stamina faster if I have my sword out? I can't even tell if I can... Put it away. Okay, this is going a lot better. I know there's like lizards or something that you can eat. That give you extra stamina. And I'm probably going to want to find a couple of those. Just because the stamina bar leaves much to be desired, especially for the big, big fights. I'm sure if you know what you're doing, it's bad.
I am just stabbing this thing right in the bum. This feels like bullying. Okay. I'm assuming its other spot is probably towards its face. Right. I see a spot kind of near its back. Come on. Come on. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get up onto its neck from here. Unless I'm supposed to a hardcore parkour. Yeah. It looks like I'm supposed to hardcore par hardcore parkour over the ridges. Alright. Chat, no backseating. Hard rule. Don't. I know I might be making mistakes. I know I might be doing things wrong. But, uh... I do not want to have this somewhat ruined for me because people are telling me uh, how I'm supposed to do it. Maybe I'm just supposed to hop right over. I guess I am. Okay, there we go. Gosh, this music is so triumphant for the fact that I'm effectively just crawling up this thing's noggin to murder it. Stabbing. Okay. I just want to get my stamina back a little bit further up. Alright, there we go. Gosh, can you imagine doing this? Like, holding on purely by clumps of its hair? Like, I could barely climb a rock wall, let alone do a pull up, uh, a pull up comfortably. There we go. And this guy is just absolutely flailing around on top of this thing like it. I mean, obviously he's struggling a little bit, but he ain't letting go. Imagine how dirty that hair is. Oh gosh, it must sting. <laughs> it's got like a thousand years of cow sweat on it. Like you know, how stinky like livestock get after, like even in, when they're taken care of, livestock stinky. Oh. I, I visited my aunt's farm once, and she had a bunch of cows just standing in the field, and they came over to see us, and we're like, oh, they're so cute. Oh, God, they smell awful.
<laughs> they remake this when we can st simulate smell in video games. That'll be definitely the new way to find them. <laughs> Raise your nose high and smell for the stench. <laughs>